Hi ladies, I wanted to start doing Ephesians 5 with you. I'll be showing you my notes in my Bible today. Ephesians 5, 1. Um, I'm reading off of my CSB Women's Bible. And here I'll be sharing with you my notes. Uh, Ephesians 5, 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as dearly loved children and walk in love as Christ also loved us and gave himself for us, a sacrificial and fragrant offering to God. But se sexual immorality and any impurity or greed should not even be heard of among you, as is proper for saints. Obscene and foolish talking or crude joking are not suitable, but rather giving thanks. For know and recognize this, every sexual, immoral, or impure, or greedy person who is an idolizer does not have an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So as you know, the first thing that I do is I highlight in blue all of the names of God and then I start to highlight what pops out to me so here on this side I wrote what were the themes so here I wrote the themes are the principle that believers should imitate God as we are made in the image of God himself. And the words that I circled are love and light. And here we see love. I circled it three times. I would connect it, but I think it would just get messy right here. So I highlighted, therefore, be imitators of God, all of one and two. And also I underlined three and I made a note, uh, a, a, a sexual immoral pattern though suggests that a person may not have been saved in the first place. And that makes sense because it, um, if you keep sinning, you didn't really change your life for God it is like you haven't been saved at all and you kind of need to, you do need to save your life in order to follow Christ. And the reference for that is in Colossians 3, 5. And I also highlighted and read uh, the last verse, verse five. And I did a little crown here. That is what I, represents the kingdom of God for me. Moving on to verse six, uh, light versus darkness. Uh, let no one deceive you with, with empty arguments, for God's wrath is coming on the disobedient because of these things. Therefore, do not become their partners, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Give, sorry, uh, live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteous, righteousness, and truth. Testing what is pleasing to the Lord. Um, here in verse 7, I highlighted in red. And my note says, Disobedient to God is by default a partnership with darkness, and many do not realize that. So when you are, when you sin, it takes you apart from God. And what Jesus does, once you are saved, you can repent and be closer to God. But you do have to change your life and try it as best as you can, as hard as you can, to stop sinning. Let the Holy Spirit come in you and guide you through your life so that you don't sin. Uh, 
Also my note for verse eight, I highlighted in orange and it's like a coral peach color. Um, I circled all of the light words in orange and then in peach color I did verse eight and nine and 10. And my note here says, when, when Paul received his commission from Jesus, Acts 26, 18, Jesus sent Paul to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a share among those who are sanctified by faith in me. And the references are Isaiah 2, 5, Luke 16, 8, John 12, 35, and 36. Moving on to, oh, here we go. Moving on here. There we go. Two verses 11 through 14. But don't participate in the fruitless works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything exposed by the light is made visible. For what was made, for what makes everything visible is light. Therefore it is said, get up, sleeper, and rise up from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. The note that I made, what I circled, uh, light, here two times, and here I wrote the references, Isaiah 51.17, uh, Mal 4.2, Romans 13.11, and Luke 1.78 and 79. Also for verse for verse 13 I wrote a reference of John 3:20 20 through 21. Moving on to consistency in the Christian life. Verse 15 Pay careful attention then to how you live, not as unwise people but as wise making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. And don't get drunk with wine, which leads to reckless living, but be filled by the spirit. Speaking to one another in Psalms, hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making music with your heart to the Lord. Giving thanks always for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of Christ. Okay, so that was a lot. Um, for verse 15, I highlighted it in green, and my reference is Colossians 4 5 and Proverbs 15 21 and for verse 18 I made a note uh, do not make choices that will lead to disobedience fill our lives with godly things and serve the Holy Spirit the only guiding influence in our lives should be the Holy Spirit and then I, verse 20, I highlighted in blue because it has to do with God, Jesus Christ and the Spirit. And for verse 18, the references were Proverbs 20, 1, 23, verses 20 and 31, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 11, Titus 1 6, 1 Peter 4 4, and Luke 1 15. 
I also made a note of verse 21. I underlined it in green. Uh, we should always seek better judgment because of Christ for others and sacrifice ourselves for others. And the verse was submitting to one another in the fear of Christ. And here I can share with you, I have a little tab that says fear the Lord. And here I have in Deuteronomy, I wrote all of uh, the verses that have to do with fear with the Lord. And well, not all of them, but. Here I have this little tab that tells me and I can just go back to it. I did write all of these down somewhere else in my Bible. But here's where I mainly come. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs 1.7, Proverbs 2.5, Proverbs 9.10, Proverbs 15.33, Job 28.28, and Psalm 111.10. Those all have to do with the fear of the Lord. And here I will come back with part two.